Hey guys, Crypto Episode 73, another fairly red week with the uh, virus variant that we've got now. Uh, doesn't seem to be a huge amount of uh, other sort of red bad news, so I think this is mainly just a sort of liquidity, everyone panics and sort of sells everything a little bit uh, sort of event, so... Not too bad, uh, but 22,000 down on the week. So that's 43,000 in the last fortnight. So we'll see where this sort of goes in the next, uh, next couple of weeks. Be interesting to see if we get any sort of safe haven buying. Um, gold sort of went up a little during the week um, or sort of Friday uh, on the news and sort of trailed back during the day. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Normally, you went on the sort of the uh, big sell-offs. You get uh, sort of everything crashed down, and then sort of maybe the safe havens uh, sort of rise a little bit in the next few weeks. So, we'll see if it performs like that. So, yeah, not a lot of uh, news to talk about, really. There was a small milestone. Uh, Bitcoin overtaking PayPal in quarterly volume. Um, so PayPal do $300 billion of uh, average volume per quarter and uh, Bitcoin's up to $489 billion. So not all of that necessarily is uh, real volume. A lot of it's sort of speculated to be uh, wash trading or sort of miners and exchanges and other people sort of sending Bitcoin to themselves to try and sort of fake volume. So... May not actually be higher than PayPal, but uh, yeah, it's just something to sort of point out. And uh, you've got Mastercard at one point eight trillion per quarter, and Visa at three point two. So it's uh, a mountain to climb to get towards those, but you can see why they're why they're mildly concerned. Always sort of had pretty much a a duopoly between the two of them, with sort of American Express having. Uh, a very small amount, sort of, down below them. So, yeah, that was about it, really, for the week, um, which is interesting. We've been quite news-heavy recently. Uh, so, Bitcoin, sort of, down 6.8%. Pretty much everything's sort of down, either uh, similar to Bitcoin or a fair bit more. Ethereum, sort of, doing slightly better, 5.8%. Cardano, see this is getting sort of potentially delisted off uh, eToro. Uh, I'm not sure how many people really buy Cardano on eToro, but uh, I think people saw it as a negative move. They're saying down to uh, US regulations. Don't think they've sort of specifically said why, um, but we'll see if they sort of expand on it. So it's been coming down ever since. Probably a fair buy now. Um, OMG network, 18% down. So that's not too good. I haven't seen sort of particular uh, news on this. But I uh, I moved my OMG network tokens to uh, the FTX exchange a little while ago um, for the airdrop. Sort of reading about it, the, uh, the wallet that I was using wasn't going to be participating in the airdrop so i moved that to ftx and i got given boba network token so this sort of uh, does show a, a crazy sort of spike there might uh, be just sort of the exchanges one of the exchanges going a bit mad but yeah so got a one for one airdrop so i've got 1400 boba network token and uh, yeah, that's worth five and a half thousand pound at the moment. So not too bad and uh, sort of stems the losses of uh, OMG being down quite so much. That was sort of 11, 12 pound, I think, um, in sort of, I guess, anticipation of that airdrop. I thought it was going to be a fairly small event, but yeah, not bad. Uh, Litecoin, 14 and a half percent. Not uh, too good for them. 
Uh, basic attention token actually powering on ahead. Five, uh, 55% up on the week. Very uh, sort of volatile. Um, but yeah, they're uh, setting up their own wallet. Uh, sort of partnerships with uh, Solana as well. So, interesting. We'll see where they go. Uh, I do use the the Brave browser, and uh, yeah, I've amassed sort of quite a few uh, quite a few tokens on that. I think I've got about three hundred and forty uh, for just watching their ads and sort of putting up with them. Um, yeah, so that's sort of. That's about four hundred pound now for, for free essentially, or for watching the ads, if you don't consider that free. Um, XRP twelve percent nearly, not good week for them. Cocos flat for the week, even though it's had uh, that ridiculous move the previous week. Better just refresh, otherwise. Cocos goes mad. Oh, and we're down another 500 quid. Um, Power Ledger, 33% down. Obviously, this uh, doesn't really show the uh, the whole picture. 82% up on the month. It's just uh, been very volatile the last couple of weeks. Uh, Stella, 9% down. Tron, 14%. Some of them perform worse than others. New Cypher actually up on the week, 1.5%. EOS, 10% down. Dash, 7% down nearly. Not a whole lot of news on any of these from what I can see. Internet Computer, 6.5% down. Uh, Solana, so as I say, this yeah 10% down, but I don't actually hold... Um, the Solana at the moment. I put another five hundred pound in, um, during this week, and it's all gone into the NFTs. If you saw my uh, NFT video on Friday, um, yeah, having a little gamble. Well aware that it's a gamble. I've lost, uh, lost a little bit on it so far. A um, couple of them seem to have sort of died, but uh, yeah, I thought it was worth having a little. A little play, never know where it can go. So, yeah, it's saying 12 Solana, but uh, I think I've got about 9 Solana worth of NFTs at the moment. Um, Anchor, 24% up on the week. Didn't uh, didn't see any news on them, but I have to keep an eye out. Band, 8% up, not bad. Quanstamp. 2% up on the week, not doing a huge amount. Audius, 3% did have a, uh, a big spike earlier in the week on some sort of NFT news. They're going to uh, they're gonna be integrating, I think, with Solana um, to sort of display NFTs. So that's pretty good for a, a fairly small cap. But it's back down to sort of... I think below where my average is. So, yeah, see where it goes. And Crypto.com coin, uh, up 20% on the week. So they've sort of had a hell of a lot of news with their uh, sort of naming a stadium. I think it's the world record for uh, an advertising rights for a stadium. And uh, sort of quite a few other partnerships that they're getting involved in. Quite a big coin now, uh, sort of lending platform, £14 billion. Pounds. So, yeah, they're the biggest lending platform. Uh, I'll probably do a little video um, either tomorrow or Tuesday just sort of showing you um, what I'm doing with Crypto.com coin and maybe a quick look around the, uh, the app. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's the portfolio for the week. So... Yeah, interesting. 22,500 down now for the week. But you've got to roll with the punches. See uh, where it takes us in the next couple of weeks. So like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment. See you soon.